We're going to walk through a files problem in this video, and we're going to have a very simple file. This is our file right here. It is delimited with spaces. We have four fields in here. We have the name of the company. We have the number of shares owned by our imaginary stockholder. We have a current price per share and a purchase price per share. And what we want to print out is something that looks like this. So we're going to use F strings uh, to format everything when we print it out. And uh, we're going to use uh, read lines to read this in as four strings. And then we're going to take split and we're going to split each one of these strings up. And then we are going to convert the numbers into numbers and do some calculations and then print some output. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we do need to copy this into Notepad. So I'm going to do a Control C there and copy it to my clipboard. And I'm going to paste it into Notepad. And I'm going to do a file, save as. And I'm putting all my stuff right here. So we're going to call this stocks. Okay. So I need to read that file and pick things off. And we're going to do it one step at a time. We're not going to try to write the whole program at once. So um, let's go to an open file here, a blank file. And the first thing I want to do is I want to uh, get a file handle. So, and this can be any name that you want, it's just like another variable name. So uh, I'm going to call it stocks file. And then um, lines equals uh, stocks file dot read lines. Okay. And now let's print lines just to make sure that it's working. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and run that. And we'll call this uh, stocks. And it's going to have a Python extension on it, so I should be okay there. Um, okay, so uh, here it is. I've still got the output from my previous. Let me see. Let's hit the enter key a few times, get this a little bit easier to read. Okay, so I did a read lines. And there are four lines in the file. I get a list that has four strings in it. and um, now we just need to step through each string and do some conversions and some, some picking off of fields. So let's flip back over here. And um, I want to go through every line in the file. So for line in lines. And what I want to do is I want to split that stuff off. So um, I'll just call it fields equals uh, the individual data items in a line like that are typically called fields. So it's going to be uh, line dot split, and then to make sure I'm doing that right, I'm going to do a print fields. Okay, so I don't need this one anymore because I know that's working. So that was just mostly for debugging purposes. Now let's go ahead and run it again. Okay, um, it has now picked them off and created a list of strings for each one of my lines of input. So now I have taken this, what used to be this, for one string that, was, that had four fields in it and divided into those four fields. So this is a string. Uh, these are going to be ints and the last two numbers are going to be floats. So let's uh, go to the next step here. So once I have split it up, then I have um, a, the name of the company. That's going to be the first item. That's a string. I don't need to do anything with it. That's all I need right there. I'm going to have number of shares. That's going to be an integer of what is in fields number one right now. And I have a current price. And 
and I have a purchase price. And I'm going to check my um, information here, make sure I got current price and then purchase price. That's the right order. And we want to compute the profit or loss and then print out the data so it looks nice like that. Okay. So once I've computed those, I'm going to do my profit. And it's going to be um, what the current value is. I don't really need parentheses here. minus purchase price times shares. Okay. And just to check, I know what the answers are because they're on that uh, problem description page. So I'm just going to print the profit. Uh, make sure I'm doing that correctly. So let's go ahead and run and run the module. Okay. And uh, so those are my numbers. And in my Word document over here, let's see. Minus 36,190, 54,000, 26,820. My, okay, so it's calculating the profit correctly. And now we are ready to do some printing. So before we do any of this, I've got some headings I want to print out. And so I want to print uh, actually I want to print these two strings here. Let's, let's do these three strings. And I'm going to cheat a little bit and just copy those. Okay, so I'm going to print um, First line is going to look like that. Second line is going to look like that. And the third line is going to look like this. Okay. And now I want to make it look pretty when I print it out. So um, print an F string. And I'm going to do the company. And I am going to do the, I'm going to put that in a field that is, oh, let's see. Um, let's do about 12 characters and see how that works. And then I'm going to print um, shares. And that's an integer. I don't know if I had a, I don't think I had a comma in the output, but uh, let's do a comma. And then let's do um, the current price. And we'll do that, let's say 10 columns and two decimal places, whoops, point two decimal places F. And then uh, the purchase price. And we'll do 10.2F for that as well. And then the profit or loss. Uh, we just call it profit. If it's negative, it'll be a loss. And we will do that in a, another 10 column field. Point uh, 2F. Okay, now I think in these numbers I would like a comma in there is, uh, as well. Comma, comma, and comma. So let's run it and see what we get. Uh, it's not going to be exactly what we want, but it should be pretty easy to tweak it and make it look good. Okay. Um, I am still printing out profit over here. That's why I'm getting that extra line. So let's get rid of that and my output will look a lot nicer. Let's go run it. Okay, 
So that doesn't look too bad. Um, I need to slide everything over. It looks like if I slide shares over about uh, four columns, uh, maybe the other stuff would line up pretty well. And I'm going to need at least one more column here, I guess, for profit or loss. So uh, let's do shares. Um, I didn't put a number in there. And uh, let's do 12 for the profit. And uh, let's run it. Hey, that worked out pretty good. Um, current price lines up perfectly. Um, shares needs to be decreased by one, it looks like. Uh, purchase price needs to be increased by one. And profit and loss looks pretty good. So if I pull shares back one, in order to keep current price right, I've got to add one to it. And I think purchase price, I say I need to pull back one, no, I'll add one more to it. So let's make that 11. And now let's run it and uh, see how things line up. And that is pretty darn good. Um, I could probably pull profit or loss back one, uh, but otherwise, you know, it's uh, pretty good. So I don't really need to go and do that. But I did forget something. I forgot to put an asterisk on the end. So let's uh, let's go back here, and um, I'm just going to make up uh, a variable called star, and I'm going to check so if uh, profit is less than zero, that means we lost money on it, then uh, star equals, and if not, whoops, star equals just a blank, okay? And I will pull that one back one, and then I want the star to stick out, so I'm gonna do star right on the end of that, and um, I think that's all I need. Let's go ahead and let's run it. And okay. Um, something happened to my profit or loss here. Um, it's all getting run up. I made it a 1. And I wanted to make it an 11. Okay, so I deleted the 0 and didn't replace it. Let's run it now. And this one looks, hey, that looks pretty darn good. That's exactly what we were supposed to do. So, um, you know, in review, you open the file, put the file in the same folder as your program code is, and you don't need any path information. Um, create a file handle, use the file handle to read all the lines in the file, and put them in a list of lines, a list of strings. And then process one line at a time. That's what this loop will do. Uh, I'm going to take the line. I'm going to split it into individual fields using the split function. That makes this a list. And I can access the individual elements in the list by using subscripts. So company is the first item at position zero, then shares, and then current price, and then purchase price. And I've got to convert numbers because those are strings. Whenever you do a split, it's splitting a string, and it's splitting it into smaller strings. And then the rest of it is just, you know, simple calculations, a simple if statement, and then a simple printf statement.